Hey, Joe. Hi. Hey, it's Officer Joseph. So you said uh, took her purse with her, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Phone. Yeah, phones. Do you want it? It's here. Police officers first made contact with Joe Elledge on October 10th, 2019. Joe Elledge said that on October 8th, he'd gone to sleep with Munchy at about 11, 11.30 or so, and that he woke up the next morning and that he noticed that Munchy was gone, vanished. Her phone and her, her wedding ring were both, um, were both just left on that table. I can't unlock her phone, it's locked and I don't know the password. At the time that Munchie G disappeared, she was a young married mother. She had a child who was one years old. Yes, baby. <laughs> I think it's easy to see that Joe would have been attracted to Munchie for her personality in terms of how caring she was. We all know that she's a very successful young engineer, and she's really good at being a mom, and she had hopes for a brighter future in this marriage in Joseph Elledge. At first blush, Facebook postings, you know, Instagram, you would see what appeared to be a happy family. These young people got married, had a child, and circumstances changed. Then arguments happened. You talk too much. You, you need to know You don't to listen stop. enough. You need to know when to listen. So there was a total of 14 hours of audio recorded between the couple. Right now what's happening is just more of what I don't want. Communication. <laughs> Lack of it. He actually discovered that she was involved in an online relationship. And he knew that there were some of these sexually explicit photos being sent back and forth. Correct. I actually found this earlier. There's this, like, it's like a journal. And it talks about her having like, some secret love. I think he's in China right now. Did she ever express an interest in a future with this man, that perhaps she'd move back to China? There were discussions about a future. We, we checked into whether or not there was maybe any contact with Uber, cab companies. Had she bought an airline ticket? We were looking for any evidence of an electronic footprint. I know she was talking to somebody else um, on the side, and whatever she's doing, I just hope she's safe. Yeah, I would have loved nothing more for her to just appear out of nowhere alive so she could take care of her daughter. But I knew that wasn't going to be the case. We have these boots that were found, and then we have five juniper needles that are caked into the boots. And these needles, where did they come from? We had three needles that came from that tree right there. Who would have ever thought it? DNA from these juniper trees helped solve this crime. I've never heard of anything like this before in my entire career at 48 hours. 